we're having the time of our lives here on the uh, 13th floor, wherever we are in what hotel is this? The Regent downtown is where we're staying. And I am uh, Lars from Metallica, in case you didn't know that, which I'm sure probably none of you do. And um, I'm supposed to uh, entertain you or bore you, whichever you prefer, for the uh, next half hour with a few selected clips of my own. And since the uh, library is uh, not quite as extensive as I would have liked it to have been, um, we're going to sort of um, sacrifice, do a few sort of normal videos for you today. And um, we're going to start things off with um, a band that I hope that you've heard about. They're called ACDC, and they're from the, just around the corner down there. This is a video that you actually don't see much up, up in the United States. It's, um, it's an early one, which is called... I should probably say that last, shouldn't I? This is a, a clip that you don't see much of in the States. I always said that once. And um, it's one of the, um, I think, my favorite early ACDC video because it's very silly. And um, it's also not too many people know that Bon Scott actually broke his arm when he leaps off the uh, altar or whatever towards the end of the clip. And they had to, like, postpone or cancel shows for three months, something like that. This is your own homegrown ACDC and Let There Be Rock. Night shift right here on Network 10. Lars, uh, heavy metal's always been there, but every now and then it's sort of, in, like in cycles, it gets really big for a while. Why is that? That sounds like a quote. <laughs> uh, why is that? I think that has something to do with the media, you yourselves and your friends, is that um, I think especially in America, the media really has a tendency to sort of blow things up and then sort of shoot them back down after they've sort of milked them for a while. And, and you know, at, at the last couple of years, you've had your White Snakes, your Guns N' Roses, your Def Leppards, and your Bon Jovi's that have sold a lot of records and all of a sudden bought heavy metal. Wow, here in the spotlight, and wow, where did all this heavy metal come from? And this must be a new thing and all this. And I think it's just sort of a media thing that just sort of comes and goes. And I think that you got to understand that it's always going to be there, like you said yourself. And there'll always be a bunch of bands that will do very good, you know, continuously and sell out tours and so forth. But you know, it just won't be in the spotlight, but always have sort of the core audience and so forth. But uh, at the end of the day, I think it just with the media, they with anything else, with other art forms or whatever, they just sort of take something and then they sort of milk it, and then that gets old, and then it's time for something else to be milked. <laughs> so, so how, do, how does Metallica plan its release of music and touring to sort of fit into those sort of cycles? Do you well, the good that? thing about Metallica is that we never have to worry about any of these things because we don't think that we. Uh, like to stay clear of any of these fashions, quote unquote. So um, the best thing for us to do is simply not worry about it and just sort of more look within and just do things on our own terms and our own schedules instead of worry about trying to cash in on whatever's going on at this particular point in time. So I think that our situation, because we don't uh, depend and rely so much on music videos and radio as some of these other bands, that our situation is more one like the sort of the classic European way where you just sort of you know, you steadily just release albums and tour a lot and it sort of grows steadily by itself where you just sort of convince more and more people by just sort of simply always being there that, that you, you get them to turn for you. So since, since we don't rely on, on radio and so forth, I think that we pretty much don't have too much to do with any of these fashions. <laughs> we have two more to go and um, we have been on tour up in America for the last uh, seven months. We've been out with a band called Queensryche who have been supporting us very well and uh, unfortunately they are now no longer with us but we are going out in the summer for four months uh, to do four summer months of touring and we're taking another of our favorite bands with us which is a band called The Cult which are doing very well with their new album which is called Sonic Temple and uh, they are like I said going to be out with us and we very much look forward to that basically the next two clips together are as my friend Tony over here just suggested basically is a a uh, video showing of the package that's going out in America <laughs> for the four summer months. So first we have the cult with their current single, which I will announce gracefully in a few seconds. And after that we have shock horror. No, is it true? Yes. We have Metallica. No. With our one and only current video um, video clip. I was going to say the word hit there, but I remember that that's not the case. So uh, I'll say video clip. <laughs> And uh, it's, this is the one video that you uh, don't get to see, I think, a lot of places. I'm sure it's not on uh, Good Morning Australia, whatever it's called. So uh, here it is in its fullest form, the one video. And, you know, get the handkerchiefs out and all that because uh, it's not the most uplifting video in the world. So here is basically a preview of the uh, summer U.S. 
Metallica cults, who are here as cult with Firewoman and Metallica with one. See ya. Still awake? Yes, that was the Metallica clip one. Yeah, I see some of you sleeping out there. Anyway, uh, you probably fell asleep right after the brilliant cult video. Anyway, um, I'm about to sign off here. We are doing a uh, sort of tour of Australia, which is actually the reason I'm on this program, in case you didn't know. And my friend here is so convinced that I actually don't know the dates that he says, all I have to do is just say, roll them, and they'll come like right down here under the screen. But I'll be one step ahead of him because I know the dates in my head and say we're the third, we're in Adelaide, the fourth, we're in Melbourne, and the sixth through the eleventh, we're in Sydney. Got you there. We're only doing one show in Sydney on the sixth. And uh, they'll probably be down here under me while I'm saying that. So anyway, thanks for uh, putting up with my uh, uh, you know, torture <laughs> for the last half hour, and um, we'll see you around soon. Cheerio.